Now, I told you guys about the situation a couple of months ago when uh, a man was killed November 21st outside of the same house where one of the white bins was found. Now, we're not gonna go into the white bins. I did videos about that today. Go check them out more deeper into that. But I wanted y'all to go deeper into this particular dude who was found dead on the scene. Now, what people allegedly at the time were saying when it happened, they were out there saying that this guy who was found there was the actual gentleman who was allegedly in the white bins that was found in the house because remember when the vehicle was shot into people were saying one of the suspects actually unfortunately lost their life in the vehicle you know what i mean and i know it's allegedly but we would have to assume certain things are, are being said for a reason because it was being in unison the whole hood was saying this now i want y'all to look in the reports of it and going deep into that one too because a lot of things was missing subconsciously people ignored that one and danced around it now this was when it was the reports was a man had been killed near the home where police d uh d discovered the white bins at which also people were saying that home is in the name of dolph i listened to a lot of people telling me that i would have to look into that again to see the aspects of how truthful that is of that being a allegedly in the name of Dolph. Now, people were saying a Memphis police apartment confirm on their Twitter page on that November 21st that they responded to a 1.56 p.m. shooting on the 1100 block of Bradley Street in Memphis where one person was pronounced dead at the scene. Now, they're claiming the nigga was dead at the scene, bro, because dude's took him out the whip and tried to keep him somewhere still you feel me but allegedly folks bled out i don't know how true that was but this is the connections when we tried to ask y'all about the black vehicle being next to the white bench because that's the one where the suspects fled in a black suv and it remained at large almost like the same black one they thought the old lady was in that got hit up we're gonna say allegedly with the connections in that too but everything goes back to what one of the witnesses said about a black vehicle following that white bins in that situation now we can see this thing was already going brazy we listened to the witness in the white bins of the original vehicle but when they pronounced and said all these things happened we know a lot of things went brazy now the 156 p.m was very important because that's at the time they found because it was broad daylight for a reason now according to news report from w r e g yesterday the location where the um, individuals identified was being investigated to look more deeper into that case. Now, we know he was killed a few feet, not even blocks or meters, a few feet away from the home where that white bins was found. Now, the vehicle matched the description, like I said, where the young Dolph was killed at Makeda, uh, Makeda's cookie shop because people also said they seen white bins in that neighborhood. Now, a witness told the news outlets basically that they heard five to six shots then saw a woman running and screaming towards where the shooting occurred now the mpd however have not confirmed that the towed vehicle was involved in Dolph shooting nor have they said whether or not the car was connected into the shooting this while we were connecting street things into it what the streets was talking about that shooting you feel me because just one day prior to that Saturday we know Fox 13 reporter Jeremy Perez he also said Memphis police have found that car and it was connected to paper route CEO's death on the 1100 blocks of Bradley Street well so everything was connected y'all now that area in South Memphis was miles away from where the rapper was tra tragically killed but not very far at all video image and footage is still circling it uh, laden around through certain businesses that got it going to that house over there now a lot of y'all was just tweaking bro and thinking this other dude who i got hit it was some separate but the other dude who got hit we ain't even talking about the high school one where them females two i mean one died and two severely injured because all three got hit but it was like damn what, what what was going on for that whole week before Dolph got killed when he got killed and after he got killed 
all these shootings and killings all been connected so you got to look at this this is like one big murders case uh, of a documentary turned into a movie slash series bro because it's true like that Dolph ain't no regular person you got to look deep into that money play and bullshit walk but this is clearly something that's been going and it's been booming to a certain wave that is like bruh too much sauce out here got the slippery drip pause you feel me now what i wanted to tell y'all was things are connected for a reason based on circumstances Dolph is from these neighborhood he love his people he love his community he gonna do what he gotta do for the block let's just get that out the way he's always gonna be in that situation which is gonna make him vital and somebody easily to be touched in a bad situation like that and it's almost unfortunate bro i ain't gonna even cap bro to see him go through that you gotta know what was his mind going through when he know he was gonna meet his demise or when he did meet it because we know the buzz game back was gonna be brazy shout out the dolph and i don't have to say pause on that because y'all know what i mean he got that gap on him at all times now all these other people they got involved in this they want to blame and say these dudes are involved in the case you got to look 38 different from it and understand this is a different scenario of how it could flip the switch on this bro is going to have different players different people is going to be involved folks are going to all try to respond to it in a different aspect of way in life niggas are going to try to make it look like their hands are clean those are the ones y'all going to have to start paying attention to because this is deeper than this, some straight drop and cornelius smith and you see that they don't kept a lot of people quiet witnesses done gone missing people who already done spoke about the case in the beginning of it where they at jack you don't see them here no more nowhere here hanging around no more so that leads me to believe what happened with that you know what i mean these articles that i'm putting on all you got to do is pause the video and read up on them so you can see the details that i done did my history and research on and done got all this you know come abouts about it bro i look at I, what i'm doing now is looking at the things that they miss i like that's that's what they do when these news happen niggas are so emotional that people dismiss a lot of the narratives that happened in the beginning they create their own narratives and things come in the past and it comes in the present time again and that's what get people like oh uh oh my nigga coming on to things uh oh oh breaking this down to a t bro uh oh oh cuz done finesse this and got it the right way the true way better than the you feel jakes and shit oh man what is he on i'm just on real nigga spill time bro these are regular things that's already in the public ain't no 12 type behavior or nothing like that it's showing you the ends of out of what was always connected what was always here in front of you if you ever looked at it and opened your eyes that's the problem folks ain't looking around and folks got a lot to say when it comes to it so i just wanted to make it makes sense i hope i did that reality for y'all man the tragedy to succumb to it we didn't show you star witness to it we got a second witness video coming to this and it's gonna make sense because the news played this second witness this second witness also uploaded a video on instagram which got shared on youtube then deleted we got the deleted portion of it we're gonna play it for the people but y'all stay tuned man keep hitting that like button rock out with the platform love your family love your kids and stay blessed this is d DJ Bless One representing the I Smoke Hip Hop Live platform.